the Philly cheesesteak, Philly's comfort food, a perfect sandwich, if you will, chop steak, cheese on a delicious bread roll. Just because we're in Dallas doesn't mean we can't find a good cheesesteak. And I can already feel it. Someone in Philadelphia, an Eagles fan preferably, their ass is chafing at the idea of Dallas offering a cheesesteak. I agree. But on today's video, we're exploring three cheesesteak spots around Dallas. I hope this doesn't get too cheesy, but we're gonna raise the stakes, if you will. Enough about me and more about this food. We're here at our first stop, Fred's Downtown Philly Cheesesteaks. For 25 years, Fred Walker has been serving up Philly cheesesteaks, starting in his garage. Now he's got locations all throughout DFW. Storefront in Plano is their main location. We're here at the Carrollton location. Can't wait to try these Philly cheesesteaks. Enough about me and more about this food. Mushroom cheesesteak. And we got Fred's Original right here. Now I've never been to Fred's, but I've heard a lot of great things. They even have a Philly cheesesteak challenge that they're very popular for. So if you feel like you got the stomach for that, by all means, try it. Let's here enjoy a cheesesteak. Look at these buns, hun. That's, oh my God, the bread is so soft. Cheesy, love the steak, love the onions, the caramelized onions. That is money, baby. Thought it was gonna be packed more with meat, but that's fine. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, wow. Mm. There's good value for these sandwiches, though. Mm. You get the bread, you get the cheese, you get the steak. Amazing. They got the Philly decor around here. I'm feeling the brotherly love here. I'm feeling it in the sandwich. Family matters. Sandwich is slapping. The sides, they got the spicy mozzarella sticks. It tastes like pepper jack. Decent cheese pool, you know. A little tight. Got the Cajun fries. Cajun fries are pretty solid too. Eli putting the Cajun fries in the cheesesteak. Damn, good idea, you know. Fred's a slapping, guys. Actually, we're across the street from Cuba Bella Cafe where I probably had my favorite Cubano, so if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Fred Walker, he actually works the grill, except Sunday, so if you're lucky to catch him at one of the locations, he cooks these sandwiches still. I'm feeling the love, I'm feeling the brotherly love. Thank you. Fred's Downtown Philly, sides are good. Sandwich, good value, $5, six inch, tasty. Oh. Fred's, it's a spot, man. Our next stop is my personal favorite cheesesteak place here in Dallas. Gotta go to the Cheesesteak House. Enough about me and more about this food. God damn. We're here at our second stop, Cheesesteak House, here in Farmer's Branch. This is my go-to place to get some cheesesteaks. Let's see if it's number one today. Enough about me and more about this food. We're here at our second stop, Cheesesteak House, guys. This is my personal favorite cheesesteak. When I used to work in Oak Cliff, I had some friends put me on, and honestly, no cheesesteak compares. Fred's was good, but let's see if Cheesesteak House still has it. Enough about me, and more about this food. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. We got the cheesy cheesesteak. Eli got their shrimp cheesesteak. So off the bat, Fred's had a six inch, and I will say the meat was a little lacking in that department, but here at Cheesesteak House, they pride themselves on that Texas cheesesteak, if you will. Throw the Philly completely out. A little bit more meat, I would say so myself, and you know that's how I like it. Look at that, perfect, you can just slide right into it. Never had their shrimp cheesesteak, but that's one thing about here at Cheesesteak House, they offer a variety of cheesesteaks, piping hot. Ah, oh, man. Man, look at that. Dripping. Dripping. Hot damn, off the bat. Definitely getting more of the meat. Definitely cheesy, I got my next cheesy, just dripping. Man, that's slapping. The bread is not as soft. What makes cheesesteak house so special is their other cheesesteaks. Their shrimp cheesesteak. This looks more like chorizo, but talking about earlier where it's like Philadelphia people's asses are chafing what Texas people do to a cheesesteak. Hey, they hate us because they ain't us. It's definitely got a kick to it. And the bread soaked up a lot of the juices or whatever that is. Kind of, kind of badass, honestly. Just like at Fred's, you can get wings here, you can get burgers, they got a pizza, cheese thing, they got weekly specials, guys. They also got an assortment of homemade or sauces, dips, sides. Getting cheesesteak nirvana here. I remember why I miss Cheesesteak House so much. I will say though, maybe it holds true, that Oak Cliff location is just hidden a bit better. It's the Mecca Cheesesteak House, but hey, it's like some down and dirty stuff. This is the kind of stuff I love eating. Cheesesteak House. It's like comfort food. The sandwich got better as I kept eating it. Kind of torn between how you want your cheesesteaks, honestly. You want something kind of more original, Fred's. You want something Texas style. 
Cheese Steak House. Love their fries, love their sides here. Their wings are good, try the wings. Cheese Steak House, guys, is the spot. We got one last stop. I've heard great things about this cheese steak place. The owner is from West Philly, Temple graduate, Big Tony. Man, with a name like that, you know he makes a damn good cheese steak. Can't wait to check it out, enough about me and more about this food. All right, we're here at our last stop at Big Tony's Cheese Steaks. Anthony Blaylock, Big Tony, he's been serving cheese steaks, born and raised in West Philly, been living in Texas since 1995. He has several locations, Big Tony's Cheese Steaks. It's about as Philly as it can get, guys. Hopefully their cheese steaks aren't lacking. Let's get it, guys, our last stop. Enough about me and more about this food. All right, we're here at Big Tony's. Number two, Philly cheesesteak, onions, pretty standard. And we got the Rocky onions, bacon, cheese Whiz. So finally got me a cheesesteak with cheese Whiz. I've been looking forward to that. Here at Big Tony's, he's from West Philly, and you can see the Philly decor all around. Feeling the brotherly love, man. man. These cheesesteaks look fire. Which one do I want to try first? Eli, what do you think? Regular? The Rocky looks kind of intense. We're gonna get messy, but try the Rocky. Oh, baby. Bacon, onions, oh my gosh. Yo, cheese Whiz by itself sounds disgusting. Cheese Whiz on a, with the Philly cheesesteak though. Call it AI, cause it's the answer. Sheesh, love the bacon. Oh my God. The Rocky is the number 25. Let's try the number two good portion of meat. I'm not seeing the cheese though. I will say too, the bread was soft. These rolls, he, Big Tony gets these from a Philadelphia bakery. So true to form, loving that. Mm -hmm. All right, damn. So with this one, unlike Fred's where, you know, the meat was kind of like sparse, the meat to cheese ratio is different here. That's okay. I'm getting a lot of meat, the meat, the steak, and the beef is savory. That light cheese kind of crusted onto the bun. You got the onions in there. The bread is soft. Oh my gosh, this bread. So far, Big Tony's is the priciest. Quality is totally worth it. My arteries. Oh man, Big Tony's is up there, man. It's top notch cheesesteaks. Could be just because I've had it last, but it's hidden especially hard. Fred's, you get good value. While it was cheaper, the cheesesteak was still hidden. But cheesesteak house, you kind of get like an unorthodox style cheesesteak. But I feel like here at Big Tony's, you pay a little bit more, but man, the quality kind of shows out. All three were delicious. If you think there's another cheesesteak spot that I need to check out, guys, comment down below, of course. And if you like this video, check out, you know, my Cubano video or check out some of my other sandwich videos. I'll put the links around here. If you like the channel, like food content, subscribe. I'm the food guy and your food guide. And this has been Dallas cheese steaks. Enough about me and more about this food. Peace. And this is a story all about how I ate so much cheese steak. My life turned upside down. Went to a place in West Philly. Big Tony's cheese steaks is where I want to be.